I'm on uh, Bayou St. John at Spanish Fort. And, uh, my main reason for coming here is to catch bait. And as you can see, I, I've done that already. Caught a bunch of shad. I've got a session coming up in the morning for cats. I might catch a little more bait, and then I'm going to do some uh, fishing with my ultralight. Let's see what I get up to. Ooh, nice bit of bait. Alright, I'm now just about to get to the fishing, and what I'm going to do is throw a, a crappie jig, or a sockelet jig as we would call it here. And as you see, it's a pink one. And the trick is, I'm using uh, crappie nibbles. I'm not fishing for crappie or sockeye. I'm fishing for croaker. These are really great to spike your jigs with when you're fishing for croaker or whatever because they have a shrimpy, fishy smell, and that's what uh, croaker like. And croaker will also hit little crappie jigs without nibbles on them. That's a 16 ounce jig head with a bit of split shot running up. All right, let's get at it. I'm gonna work the, around the uh, pump house first off. I might move to other places later this afternoon. First, I'm gonna just jig without a float, kind of cast jigging, and I will bounce it up and down in this shady spot along the wall. There's a lot of fish up underneath the pump house. Can't get to them because of the fence, but they're under there and they're jumping once in a while. They're closer to the sleuth gate, actually holding in the slight current of the sleuth gate today because it's open, <coughs> slightly open, but the uh, pump house isn't on, so there's not an immense amount of current coming out from under this structure here. Got to be careful jigging here. You want to get your bait up under there, but you might not be able to see on film, but there is like a a bar or something running from pier to pier. Line can get hooked to that or wrapped around it. It's a big problem. And who knows what else is under there, but... Ooh, did you hear that? Good spot is along this wall. Ooh! Had a bite, lost my nibble. Well, I can fix that. Need a third hand. Put a little one on there. I got about seven feet, eight feet of line hanging off the tip of my rod. That's what I'm working with right now. Not so much casting, I'm focusing on the margins like right where I just dropped. They seem to be holding tight from about the wall to five feet out. More bites in that area, especially in the shady part here. And they're not too far down. Oh! <laughs> I lost him. Oh look. Look he's coming back. Got him. Oh, did you see that? Well, I don't know what it was, but that's amazing. You lose a fish and you, you're just like, oh, here, you want, it, you want it back, buddy? There we go. First little croaker of the afternoon and the sun's not even down yet. Lovely. See I'm croaking? I love catching these on jigs on my ultralight. Fun. I'm on the other side of the lock and I see a lot of shad right in front of me, big ones. Let's see what I did. Ooh, look at that. Decent size. Here comes another net. You think I've got enough? Well, I believe that's all I have time for, so see you next time.